everyone, uh, I'm Vanessa, one of the massage therapists here at BJC Health, and I'm here today to talk to you about Spiky Ball. Uh, every time my clients have a massage with me, they ask me how they can maintain the gains um, after the massage session. So a spike ball I recommend as a way uh, to self-manage the symptoms they came for and also to make sure they maintain those gains. Why do I recommend spike ball over foam roller? First reason is because it's very easy to carry around. So you can carry with you in your bag, go to the gym, go for a run uh, or go on your trips. Second reason, because it's small, so target smaller areas better. So areas like your neck, your feet, or your upper, upper back. Third reason is less time consuming compared to the foam roller. If you don't have one of these, I highly recommend you to get one of these spiky bowels to help you manage um, your symptoms and your gains in between massages. Hi guys, it's Sarah here. I'm with Bando, one of our new remedial massage therapists. Um, Bando's trying to help me out. He's seen that I'm a bit stiff and sore today. So we're gonna take you through what are some good ways to use the foam roller. So you might've seen a previous video we did where Vanessa was taking you through the benefits of using a spiky ball. But obviously the foam roller is bigger. It's not quite as easy to fit in my handbag or my work bag. Um, but yeah, can you explain what are some good ways to use this or what? Why would you suggest someone use a foam roller separate to a spiky ball? Well, first of all, um, a spiky ball is a bit more intense than a foam roller is because mm. it does dig in a little deeper, where a foam roller is great for um, working superficially. So the bigger muscle groups like the lats, the, the um, upper back or quad muscles, for example, yeah. it's greater for getting um, the superficial layer to yeah. break it in before you get to the deeper uh, muscles. Okay. Yep, yeah, sounds good. Uh, what about, um, I've seen some people do some cool stretches on this. so. Do you like using the foam roller for mobility stuff as well? Yeah, definitely. So you can use it as a, a good tool just to open up your um, chest. So yeah. you can literally just lay down on it and have a bit of a stretch. Yeah. Nice and simple, nice and easy as well. Yeah. And it's a great way of just um, improving your posture. Overall. Yeah, great. Okay, sounds good. So um, if in doubt, it sounds like foam roller is good to use for those bigger muscle groups, so quads, lats. Um, it's also quite a versatile tool in that you're going to be able to do some mobility work and some stretches as well. So um, hope that was helpful and hope you now know uh, when it might be a good idea to use a foam roller and then alternatively when a spiky ball is the better option.